Are you looking for a simple recipe that can give you meals through the week? You found it with the Easy Pot Roast. Let's put the cast iron to work for you. We're starting with a beautiful English roast, a fantastic roast from the chuck that's perfect for braising. Start by seasoning it with salt and pepper. I use kosher salt and fresh cracked pepper to make sure the top, the bottom, and the sides are nicely seasoned. Heat up the Dutch oven to medium high and add a little vegetable or canola oil to put the whole roast in to sear. Let it get a really browned over crust. That's gonna really build the flavor. After browning both of the large sides, be sure to turn the roast on its edges to get it also browned on the sides. Don't skimp on the chance to build flavor. Okay, so pull it from the pan and turn off the heat for a minute while we get some ingredients ready. Okay, so we'll peel and chop an onion. Go ahead and peel the skin off. And from those halves then, we're going to just coarse chop it. I'll usually take a knife to the side of it and then with some quick blade work, we can get it into about a half inch chunks. Don't get too fussy with it. And then we'll grab a couple cloves of garlic, smash it to pull the paper off the outside and then go ahead and chop that up. It doesn't have to be too fine. And then get it into the Dutch oven that's up to a medium heat again. And we'll add those onions and garlic. Just when those onions get softened from the heat, we're gonna add some flour into the mixture. A little tomato paste, and we'll stir that up a bit before we add some Worcestershire and some beef stock. Work that liquid around and scrape the bottom of the pan to work all those wonderful brown bits from the searing of our beef. At this point, we'll add the roast back to the pan, close the lid, and head into the oven at 300 degrees. After three hours, we'll flip the roast to get the top that wasn't sitting in the liquid to have time in the liquid and get really tender. Also gonna add some rosemary while it finishes cooking to get those nice herbal aromatics involved. So just one more hour in the oven and we'll be ready to go. Oh, here it is. It smells amazing in here. Let's pull this out of the pan and see how we did. Go ahead and skim off any excess fat from the liquid and then we're gonna pour some of that liquid over this beautiful pot roast. Look how tender that is. So with little time in the kitchen, we were able to make an easy pot roast, but have super healthful meals through the week. Thanks for joining us in the test kitchen at Certified Angus Beef. Please press like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time in the test kitchen.